I am a truther and warner sent by God, the Most High, and I don't care how you feel about that. There is always cause and effect. Something calls what just happened in Texas. Something calls the devastation. And that something was a Nibiru flyby that devastated Texas. People began spotting Nibiru on the 20th of August, five days before the Nibiru flyby caused the massive devastation. And I want you to really see how close these meteorites are to us because the countdown has begun. Yo, what is this, bro? It's like stars that are moving, bro. Hurricane Harvey came ashore as a Category 4 storm north of Corpus Christi, Texas on Friday night. August the 25th, 2017, as the strongest storm ever to hit United States since 2005, but probably ever, they be lying. It became a tropical storm Saturday, but has resulted in wide-scale flooding in Houston and devastation. Pretty much the morning before it struck, Nibiru was spotted again in the sky by a Texas man who saw it from his pool while he was swimming in and recorded this and again look how close this thing is to us because we literally have no time left i noticed someone i was in my pool oh my god people i could film this for hours i'm soaking wet because i was in my pool when i first saw him i saw him when i saw him okay. and if there are balloons i don't know They're extremely high up. Uh, I mean, how is it that they're making formations? I, I don't understand these things are making formations. Keep watching, Mom, because they're rearranging. Seriously, they are rearranging. I can't see it with my eyes anymore. Oh, there they are. They're way over there. I think the bigger ones... Are the coordinators. They range from when I first saw them in color from white, orange, and red. And now they're pretty much white. But they keep grouping and spreading out and changing formations. And these are the idiots caught in the devastation caused by Nibiru because they are too fucking ignorant and hard-headed to listen to the warner sent by God so that they could have been somewhat prepared for what was about to take place. They could have got some boats. They could have got some sandbags from in front of their house. They could have did something. They could have lifted their furniture off the ground. They could have done something you know, uh, you saw those old folks in the house. It is not a UFO fleet. It is not an anomaly. Now, let's darken it and see it up close. This is the same damn thing in the dark. In the dark, you would say, this is a meteor. I mean, this, this is a UFO fleet. Look at it. No, it's the same anomaly called Nibiru going through the sky. As you get close, you see those lights turn red. See? Me and my family are pushing full steam ahead to prepare for this meteorite strike. And we are working feverishly night and day in the 110 desert heat. It, it ain't easy for us. To meet the devastation that's coming upon this earth. 
Stop being stubborn as sheep. Listening to the devil worshipers who have the demise of all mankind at, in, in, in their mindset. You listening to people who worship in devils that hate mankind. Who always tell you truthers like me are false. Nothing's going to happen. Why something is happening all the time. We seeing the effect. But what is the cause? It's time to snap out of your spell and face reality before you end up far worse off than Texas. Wrap the news.